Hello YouTube and welcome to another horribly created video by me, that one ethical hacker. Anyways, let's get into today's video today. So we're going to be showing how horrible Malwarebytes really is. And yes, I'm using their free trial because I'm not going to be paying for this right at the moment. For a little tiny YouTube video, I will make absolutely zero money off of. And I will say this, keep in mind that I am recording this in chunks today. Normally I do these in one goes where I just click record and I do it all in one take. But today, just due to the complexity and the fact that I have to create samples, this is going to be taking some time for me to do, which is why I'm on my uh, last four days of the 14 day software trial. So anyways, let's get on with today's video, that being the first sample. But before we do that, let's go ahead and show you everything inside of Malwarebytes, the user experience and everything like that. So opening it up, we can see that we are greeted by the app, activate subscription, buy now buttons, and a user account, which is really basic. Uh, the web application likely as it is, well, either way, this looks good. And also no, I'm not in Stockholm, so don't act like I am. We can see that we have a trusted advisor showing us, hey, how good is your protection? There's identity protection settings. A dashboard this is the dashboard it all looks really good so for this PC we have everything on firewall warnings everything turned on recommendations Malwarebytes browser guard is not installed we aren't really dealing with that so it doesn't really matter I'm fine with being 90% the way there today so scans we can see it's like really good close that this is a previous scan I did uh, just schedules, reports from each scan. I was testing around with the software previously just to make sure everything does work. And we can just click done on the scan. Detection history, we've had zero detections on, uh, this is globally, but on my device we've had nothing from ransomware, malware, web exploits, there's nothing. History, nothing allow list, there is no allow list. Quarantine items, there's none right now. So, if we go underneath advanced settings though, we can block penetration attacks. We have everything enabled, everything in the little teeny tiny world of malware bytes. Everything is selected as I cannot tell you enough. All right, so now that you know everything is selected, everything under general is good, Let's show what we are working with here today, shall we? Okay, so we currently have an empty directory that I'm gonna be testing this inside of. So I'm just gonna go and create a very basic uh, little thing of files so you can see just all how this works. We basically have a decent enough thing for demonstration purposes. Um, normally on a channel like the PC security channel, you're gonna see a more extensive one which, I mean, I'm going to do for later ones that should hopefully get flagged, um, but this, this likely won't, because it's a sample I've handcrafted, and it's likely not going to get detected, specifically by Malwarebytes, which in my opinion, which in my opinion, is just horrible. It really is bad. So let's go ahead and get something up and running for this, specifically sample.py. So as you can see, we're in the exact same directory as this one, and as in this window, same sample.py folder folds. And if we show the ls of folder, you can see it's folder one and all that. So let's go ahead and run sample.py. Well, actually, I need to make sure sample.py is correct. One moment, hold please. So now that we have all that, let's go ahead and run our Python sample. Let's run it. And it's just going through and it is encrypting everything. As we can see going into temp, everything is getting overwritten. Folder one, like it's all going away. And Malwarebytes has not flagged this yet. Matter of fact, we can do a scan right now just to make sure. 
I'm going to have it windowed so you can make sure that I'm not joshing you. It is going through reading, writing, and deleting everything. Now, sure, I could run this on my main system and it could prote protect it somewhat. And that's likely going to be one of the excuses I see in the comments if this actually makes a mainstream audience. I counter with, if you're using an antivirus, it should detect just basic patterns like this. But it's not doing anything. I have a backup of this file just in case it does get detected. But nothing is being detected at all. And I'm going to just kind of skip through and fast forward this so you aren't waiting for it to uh, finish. Okay, and the scan is done, and as we can see, no threats at all. We can even view the scan report, and we can see nothing was detected at all. So let's actually go ahead, pause that and cancel it, yes. Cancel, yes. Let's actually go ahead and send in this specific file into Malwarebytes. And it says there's no issues. And if we remember, we ran that exact file. So this clearly is a load of bullshit, as we can see by this one sample, which was homemade. Now I'm going to go make something else, and hopefully this one gets detected. So I have created the second sample for this, and this is the final day of my free trial, so we are going to quickly make the uh, very fun, very big, uh, like, zip file and folders and everything that we're going to be using for this. So hold please while I do that. Okay, so after maxing out my storage, I'm quite literally down to a couple uh, megabytes right now. Um, let's go ahead and copy over this sample into the uh, correct directory because I only have one version of this and I really don't want to have to recompile it because my antivirus really hates that. And now let's run it and hope that it works. Ah, this is a writing error. Nice. So I did test this earlier and it seems like with without the antivirus and it worked. So it kind of seems like without really trying, Malware Bytes is actually doing some good today. Somehow. In the last one you kind of saw that Malware Bytes didn't really do anything. It kind of it did work, but it also didn't because the file didn't work. So I was able to fix the file, but the issue is I sadly ran out of time on my free trial and I'm not going to invest money in this so far because I'm making no money via YouTube and other means through vulnerabilities I find out in the wild. So instead, we're just going to scan the uh, file which I have named accordingly Jack Catch. Um, for reference, you will not find this in the wild and if you do, it is not me and please notify system admins and network admins immediately because if it is a re re replication of this file, there could be major, major damage done if it is not already fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this file over just in case we have ourselves a backup that we're going to be needing. So I'm going to paste the backup in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan this file with Malwarebytes. Now, in theory, it should give us the same level of protection, and it should notify us, hey, this could be malicious. And I'm going to show you something later. So let's go ahead and throw it on here. And it seems like it made a generic malware uh, detection. So let's go ahead and see what that is. So it is saying that the item, which I cannot see the full name of for whatever reason, which is indeed jackcatch.exe, has been labeled as malware slash suspicious. 
So let's go ahead and quarantine this item. It protected us. Malwarebytes did its job against this specific threat. Yay! This, uh, this threat, jackcatch.exe, which one person who may or may not watch this video will actually know what jackcatch.exe will do in a future video I will be publishing and it will be on a stream as well. They will be experiencing jackcatch through legal means. I have made sure that it is completely legal. And they will be demonstrating the potential dangers of running it on your system, as I will now. Because it was notified as a threat. But here's the thing, if we go into advanced, we can see a log file right here and assume where it's located in system 32 or program files 86, is that, yes, it was on Windows 11, it's on a NTFS drive, x64 architecture, yep, it is on a client device. It was a custom scan, and... It seemed to have worked as just a file threat. Not anything really, like, interestingly named. <laughs> like folder threats, it didn't notice, it didn't seem to be noticed as a folder threat, which I find a little weird, but let's, let's keep looking. And as you can see, there's not much we can do with the free version, which I, again, I'm sorry I did not pay for the uh, premium. But they're wanting some money and I really don't feel like trusting my money with Malwarebytes because, again, I can bypass it with a simple Python script. So let's actually go ahead and run this, shall we? So we're inside of the tester directory and let's go into the testing folder directory and run jackcatch.exe. But first I'm going to clear the screen. Sorry, I'm getting a little anxious running this. It's the first time it's being ran on an actual uh, system. <laughs> so let's see how this works. And let's go into testing folder and see if it's working. And it seems to be working because my computer is not liking it right now. But we are seeing the .cot extension on everything, which is good in terms of it actually working. And over here, I'm not seeing any errors. So it's actually going through and encrypting the files. And if we try to look at, oh, okay. Microsoft Defender just flagged it. Okay, it is, oh, what is this? A Trojan script? Jackcatch.exe. It has flagged jackcatch.exe halfway through. And let's see if it actually if it actually did anything on this new one. Um doesn't seem like it did much. Ransomware protection. Manage ransomware protection. Controlled folder access. Yeah, sure, we don't have that on, but we do have a recovery file. Uh yeah, I'm gonna have to censor that. <laughs> 